we can also compare the two cells using sum and difference method the circuit is similar to this except the circuit over here there is slight difference the from point a it goes to the positive of e1 negative of e1 goes to the key key now we can, we will have to connect like this the sum negative of e1 should be connected to the positive of e2 and that circuit should come here and for difference the negative of e1 should be connected to the negative of e1 we can use a four way key here now let's see the connections so we have the positive here negative goes to the key key to the lower end of the rheostat the top terminal to the point b this is as usual but now we have only two wires here the one wire goes to positive of this and the other goes to positive of this the negative of this should be connected in the first place negative should be connected to the positive of e2 so negative of e1 we are connecting it to the positive of e2 this one okay so i have connected to the positive of e2 and the negative of this one will go to the galvanometer galvanometer to the jockey now let us see the opposite side deflection on the galvanometer when you put it at point a see the deflection is on this side when you put it on point b the deflection is on the other side so you find zero here again the same usual method so see where you get zero so we are getting zero somewhere here so we'll note down that reading so zero is here so there goes zero so we'll note down this particular length so that's 166 so we'll write out l1 as 166 and now for l2 if you look at the circuit diagram the negative of e1 should be connected to the negative of e2 see so if you have four way key you can just reverse the keys but now i am going to connect the negative of e1 this is the negative of e1 so i will connect it to the negative of this one that means the two zinc rods they are connected together so i'll connect these two zinc rods together and uh, this one i will connect it to the galvanometer so we see the deflection is zero and that length is 20 cm so we write l2 as 20 now we will add and divide so e1 plus e2 upon e1 minus e2 is equal to l1 upon l2 so what we have is here we will do l1 by component or dividend or what is e1 upon e2 e1 upon e2 will be equal to l1 plus l2 upon l1 minus l2 so we put the values 166 plus 20 upon 166 minus 20 that gives it 186 upon 146 that is 1.274 so this value comes out to be 1.274 likewise we can take four other readings by just shifting this okay so we'll take four other three other readings. so we found out the other values and uh, we got the mean as 1.281 which is almost equal to this 1.287 so by sum and difference method we get the value as 1.281 so by comparison by division this we found out by multimeter in our previous uh, videos and we had got this much and then we got e1 by 2 as 1.287 then by individual cell method we got the value as 1.249 and by sum and difference method we got it as 1.281 
so that is how we complete our comparison of the cell by both the methods thank you and bye